everybody. So I wanted to come on here and kind of film a little vlog for you guys today and kind of talk about how my month has been going, how my year might pan out, and just turning 29 in general. So January 22nd was my birthday and I turned 29. I got to go to downtown Disney area, Disneyland Hotel area, and I celebrated my birthday there with my family and, um, well, basically my mother and my sister and nobody else. And it was just very nice and very close and family oriented. All of my family lives in Southern California, California. <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. Not all in the same city necessarily, but very close. So that way we can always have each other when one needs to house it. I house it a lot. You see a lot of photos of random animals. So um, hence the random animals that you'll see in one of my photos and you'll see it in another family member's photo and you're like, wait, how many animals does she have? They're not all mine. I have three dogs. So Teddy Elise and Rosie. Um, as far as turning 29 goes, I wanted to sort of close out my last 20-something birthday with a bang. I am one of those people who doesn't like to try to be negative and be like, well, my, t my 20s are coming to a close and I'm aging and I'm going to get upset over this. I'm somebody who's just like, I want to embrace this. I'm not going to care if I'm turning um, older. I'm going to enjoy it. Because first of all, the 20s are for trying to learn how to make money, getting out of college, getting through the hard times, trying to get your stuff together. And I mean, who wants to spend their entire life doing that? I think a lot of people in their 20s want to spend their life feeling comfortable, which is more or less what your 30s are. And um, at least today, I really do think that turning 29 or turning 30 is like turning the new 20 to 25 or whatever because nowadays when you're barely turning 20 something you really are just a kid you don't know that much you're probably still in college uh, a lot of people don't look up to you in terms of life experience um, necessarily so um, it can be very difficult to sort of get your voice heard if, even if you are on the mature side of things. A lot of you guys do know that I am a bartender and I just closed out one of my major conventions for the year which is the National American Music Association convention and it is huge. It is, fill it is filled with big musicians. It is filled with old musicians. It's filled with musicians that are starting out. People who have auditioned for things. Um, independent underground bands. Um, you, it is sort of a huge honor to get invited to this thing if you get to go into the convention. It means that you've made it as a musician. So getting to bartend for it is like huge. I have bartended for it for seven years now and you meet a lot of personalities. You know, a lot of them will be great, kind, and sincere because they kind of see you as their... Uh, as their adrenaline builder as a bartender, you know, you're giving them um, You know, you're giving them drinks letting them relax. So they treat you pretty well They you get tipped pretty decently <laughs> The hardest part about being a bartender for one of these big conventions is that you really have to climb the ladder of seniority to make a buck in this convention a lot of people will be, be very dog-eat-dog -dog. they'll be very hardcore salesmen even as bartenders and servers so it's really really hard to make a buck luckily this year for me was one of my decent years I wouldn't say it was one of my best years because NAM has slimmed down quite a bit um, but all in all I still made well that well oh, over four hundred dollars um <laughs> um i guess a lot of you guys can see why i'm not somebody who would ever quit bartending to do youtube fully also i like a little bit of uh, human interaction i like a job that keeps me grounded gets me out of the house and gives me some good money and it allows me to enjoy what i love which is makeup and I do have a cosmetology license. Reason why I don't use it in a salon is because it's a very that's a very different atmosphere from working in a bar, but it's another la ladder to climb in the scale of seniority and as I've stated, I've been working towards getting a uh, a job as a makeup artist for a Friday spot. As far as working a counter goes, makeup artistry, you're not going to be seeing the dollars you'll see as a bartender. Um but anyways, um, I will be hopefully going to Vegas in the next week to recover from the NAM 
hectic craziness because I'm so severely exhausted at this point. I have two more bar shifts to work, but hopefully before I can get some rest. And I'm even shocked I'm wearing lashes and glittering out, but I want to see what more money I can make before I enjoy a nice trip to Vegas to literally recover. So yeah, that is um, that is what's going on with me. Um, I have bigger conventions to fry sooner rather than later. Um, I will be going to Vegas with my boyfriend. No, you'll never see him on YouTube. You'll never see his face or anything like that, either on my Instagram or my Facebook or anything like that. He stays out of social media. It's his request that I not put him on the internet, and that's okay with me as well um, because I do value my personal life. I do like sharing with you guys, obviously, but I also value my a personal life to an extent because I think that... It's not that I d mind people asking questions. I just think there's some creepers on the net and it's nice to have some privacy. <laughs> End of story. I'll see you guys later and I hope you all have a great one. See you later.